Hello! This video tutorial presents how to define transitions between music objects in WISE. This second tutorial builds on the concepts introduced in the first one, entitled Creating Music Structures. If you haven't already done so, you may want to go back and watch it. Now that you are familiar with interactive music structures, let's look at how to create transitions within them. You can quickly and efficiently define the rules to manage the transitions between objects using the WISE transition matrix. Thanks to the matrix, just a few rules can cover all possible transitions within your project. Now, let's look at how the transition system works. Each transition between a source and a destination object is defined by a transition rule. Each rule includes an exit point for the source and an entry point for the destination. For each rule, you can begin by setting the exit point for the source. You can choose from a number of options including immediate, next bar, and exit queue. Then, for the destination, you can set the entry point to either entry queue or same time as playing segment. You can also add a fade for both the source and the destination. Additionally, you can decide if you want to play the post-exit and pre-entry sections. Finally, you can also insert a transition segment between the source and destination. This is particularly useful when the time signature or music keys are different. Now, let's see how transitions are created in WISE. We will reuse the music structure we created in the previous tutorial. This structure includes three music playlist containers within a music switch container. Before going further, let's hear the beginning of these three music playlist containers once again. Now, we will begin by creating transition rules between the Stealth and the Stress containers. The music within these containers has been written using the same tempo and chord progression. As a result, this is a good opportunity to use a crossfade transition. Let's switch to the Transitions tab in the Music Switch Containers property editor. By default, the transition matrix includes one rule to cover the transitions between all objects within the container, the Any to Any transition. When you need a specific transition, just create a new rule. So, let's create a new rule to manage the transition between the Stealth music and Stress music. Click the Add button to add a new general rule to the matrix. In this example, we're going to select a specific source and destination for this rule. Click the Source Selector button and choose the Browse option. In the Project Explorer browser, select the Stealth playlist container as the source. Now do the same to select the Stress Playlist container as the destination. In the Source group box, we will set the option Exit Source At to Immediate. Since the objective is to cross-fade between the Stealth and Stress music, we will select the Fade Out option and click the Edit button to display the Music Fade Editor. In the Music Fade Editor, note the two horizontal bands that represent the source and the destination and a vertical line that represents the sync point between them. These are guidelines to help you edit the fade options. To begin, let's set the fade time to 3 seconds. Note that the fade out ends at the sync point. You can reposition this relative to the sync point by using the offset option. Finally, we can apply any of the standard curve shapes available in WISE. Now that we've defined the behavior for the source object, let's do the same for the destination. Because the Stealth and Stress music have the same tempo and chord progression and the same number of bars, we will use the Same Time as Playing Segment option in the Sync 2 drop-down menu. This option syncs the destination segment to a matching point in the Source segment. So for example, if the Source segment was at the third beat of the third bar, the destination segment will begin playing at the third beat of the third bar as well. This option ensures a sample accurate synchronization when the transition occurs. To smooth out the transition, we will also use a fade in for the destination with settings similar to the source's fade out. Load the switch container into the transport control to audition the state transition in WISE. Note that when you load the switch container, the corresponding state group and its states become available. 
Changing a state in the transport control simulate in-game state changes. So what you hear in WISE is exactly what will be heard in the game later on. Let's play that now. Now that we're happy with our transition from stealth to stress, let's create a similar transition from stress to stealth. Let's listen to that now. Okay, let's try a different kind of transition to manage the switch between our stress and fight music. Since the stress music has a tempo of 90 beats per minute, and the fight music has a tempo of 120 beats per minute, a good place to create a transition is at the beginning of a new bar for both the source and the destination. To do this, we will set the exit source at option to next bar with a fade out for the source. For the destination, we will set the entry point to entry queue and select the Play Pre-Entry option to preserve the drum pickup in the first segment of the fight music. Let's listen to this now. In this case, the transition works quite well, but in other situations, you may also need to use a transition segment to create a bridge between the source and the destination. Let's listen to a segment that has been written especially to be played as a transition segment between the fight and stress music. Now, let's create a new transition between the fight and stress music. Because the segments for the fight music are only two bars long, set the Exit Source At option to Exit Queue. Also select the Play Post Exit option. In the Transition Group box, select the Fight to Stress Transition segment by using the Browser button. Select the Play Pre-Entry and Play Post-Exit options for the transition segment. Finally, for the destination options, select Play Pre-Entry checkbox. Let's listen to this transition now. That's it! Now you know how to create musical transitions in WISE. For further information about transitions, refer to the interactive music section of the WISE